Hey guys, it's Megan with Tech Launchpad. So we're still a few months away from the official release of Apple's iOS 12, but we've been hard at work using the beta software to bring you the five things that sucked about iOS 11 and the iPhone 10 that you'll love about iOS 12. That's a working title. Let's start with turning the phone on. The big update when the 10 was released was the move away from the thumbprint recognition to facial recognition. Honestly, before I upgraded to the 10, I didn't think it could get any easier than using a finger to open my iPhone. And then I was introduced to the wonders of simply giving it sexy eyes, and it opened right up. Not having a fingerprint scanner meant you could no longer add additional fingerprints from your loved ones and you were forced to give out your passcode. Well, with iOS 12, you have the option of adding on an alternate appearance, or an alter ego, if you will, that can also unlock your phone. So whether it's your significant other, I mean, do you really want to give your boyfriend unfettered access to your phone? That's on you, girl. Or perhaps it's you in a wig with a handlebar mustache. You can now have two girls, one phone. Notifications. If you've ever put your phone down for a bit and come back to multiple text messages or emails, you know Apple like to have them stacked on top of each other for you to go through one by one. Or if you're like me and you prefer the eco-friendly ride share option, aka the cheap version, Uber Pool or Lyft Line, you know those apps like to send you notifications literally every two seconds to alert you that your driver Chris in a silver Honda Civic is four minutes away. Now he's two minutes away. Now Chris is arriving soon. Now Chris is here. Now you're on your ride. Now a passenger's been added to your ride. You're almost at your destination. On and on and on. My poor thumb gets so cramped just having to scroll through all these damn messages and delete them one by one. It's crazy. With iOS 12, Apple is introducing something called group notifications and instant tuning, meaning you can group and erase your notifications and your passive aggressive mood in one swipe. You can also mute certain notifications or just ask for them to be delivered quietly. Speaking of swipes, one thing that definitely took some getting used to when switching to the iPhone 10 was not having a button anymore and having to learn how to do everything using just the touchscreen. Now, while I admit it only takes a few days to fully get used to it, one thing that still annoys me to this day is how you close out of apps. With the iPhone 10, whenever you want to close out of multiple apps, you have to hold down the screen until all of the windows appear and then press down again to be able to close the apps. It just gets annoying. But now Apple's gone back to basics with iOS 12, so all you need to do is swipe up. No pushing required. Something I've always had a love-hate relationship with until recently was the ability to take a photo right from text messages. It's definitely super convenient if you're in the middle of messaging someone and you see something funny and you snap a photo and you send it to them right away. But there are some drawbacks. Mainly the fact that you can't zoom in on the image or use any of the basic camera functions except just snapping the photo. Well, of course, once again, iOS 12 is making our lives easier because not only does it give you back some of the camera functions, you get all of them. You get the kit and the caboodle. When you open up your camera feature from your text messages, you can zoom, crop, add filters, you name it. So the next time you're going to send Bay that perfect gym selfie mid-workout, you can have the filters already set in place so you look as radiant and as glowy as ever, honey! Well, last but certainly not least, the thing we all hate the most about digital life passwords. Is there anything more annoying about having your go-to password and then you want to sign up for a new account somewhere that requires all sorts of witchcraft and wizardry? Like, okay, this company wants your password, but you have to have one capital letter in it. And then this company will take your password, but it needs a unique symbol in it. And a third wants you to include both a unique symbol and a number and maybe one capital. And then, of course, my favorite. Can't remember your password. So you're like, all right, well, you know, it's been a while. I guess I'll just create a new one. So you go and you type something in and you get that message that says, new password cannot be the same as old password. Well now, iOS 12 allows Siri to access your account usernames and your passwords and easily show them to you when you request. So the next time you can't remember your ex-boyfriend's former roommate's mom's Netflix password, all you gotta do is say, hey Siri, what's my Netflix password? And et voila, Siri comes to the rescue. So obviously, there's a lot more coming to iOS 12. We still have an emojis, group FaceTime, a revamped Apple News, among other really big, exciting things. But these small tweaks are definitely going to make your life much easier. What are you most looking forward to with the all-new iOS 12? Tell us in the comment section below. And remember, while you're there, click that bright red subscription button so you always know when a new video drops. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.